folks, Wisteria Moon here, and today I'm going to be doing a casual feral gameplay of sorts because thus far the majority of my feral videos have been scripted and detailed, but I kind of just wanted to make an off-the-cuff video where I tried to collect some sketches from the Expanse, which are basically these guys up here. Also, just a quick side note, folks. Throughout this video, I mistakenly refer to inspirations as sketches. If I say sketches, I mean inspirations. Anyways, back to the main video. Now, if you're a little bit confused about what a sketch is, you can refer to my Feral Basics video, which is where I give a broad overview of all the main aspects of Feral in its beta state, at least, because right now we are beta testing Feral and this is not the fully released game. So I would highly encourage watching that if you are not up to date on the basics of Feral and how it works, but for the purposes of this video, we are going to be focusing on the sketches and the expanse. But in case you don't feel like watching the video, a quick overview of sketches is that you can access your sketchbook using this button in the upper left hand corner, and here they are all listed out. So the whole premise behind sketches is that you can find them in the expanse, which I'll get into momentarily, and then they're added to this book and basically the goal is to use various combinations of sketches to unlock enigmas, which are these things right here. So yeah, it'll basically just add a little emblem or symbol into your enigma section of your inventory chest. And then you can take these enigmas to various store owners throughout Feral, and they can be used to unlock secret items that ordinarily would not show up in those stores. You can think of sketches as a very complicated recipe towards finding secret items, and it's kind of like a matter of cracking the code. The catch is that most of the combinations don't work. I mean, there could be potentially thousands of combinations, even millions at a certain point, especially when they start adding like 15 or 20 sketches in here. There's going to be some item combinations that are virtually impossible to find. I mean, it could take literal millions of attempts. So I think it's a really cool concept, but here's my problem. I don't actually have all of the available sketches yet. I have some of them, but I think I'm missing about four or five. So today I'm going to be trying to find as many as I can in The Expanse. And for those of you who don't know what The Expanse is, it's basically a giant land that's filled with resources, such as sketches for the sketchbook and crafting materials materials, which you can find in your chest, the ingredients. You can use these to craft items and earn them in the expanse. And you can even earn items in the expanse because there are chests located throughout. Some are very easy to open, some are more of a challenge to open, and you can also earn likes, which is the basic feral currency as of now. So yeah, the expanse is overall a very cool environment and it's also very dynamic. It's always changing. So there might be different spawn points on different days, which is interesting and different resources available at different points. So I thought this would kind of be a good casual way, I guess, to introduce you guys to the expanse before I do an in-depth tour of it. Without further ado, we're going to be spawning into the expanse. I'll just do a quick little breeze by for you guys. I think it should be some fun stuff and hopefully the fan noise isn't too intense in this recording, but I will say that this game does take up quite a bit of processing energy on my computer and I set the quality to epic. So yeah, I apologize for any of that background noise. Also, can we just take a moment? I love these little chicken things. They are absolutely adorable. <laughs> they're just such a mood. I mean, they're straight up vibing out here. Oh my gosh, what do you know, guys? We actually just found a sketch, the green egg. Wow, I am enthralled by this. I was really not expecting this to happen, but I'm gonna take advantage or not because I am potentially unable to pick this up. Oh wow. How dare you taunt me like this green egg. How dare you. I'm so upset honestly. I want this sketch so bad because there's actually an enigma that you can unlock using it but right now since we are in feral beta there seems to be a lot of glitches involving picking up items so I guess I can't actually pick up this enigma. It's really really sad. <laughs> oh man. Well I guess we're just gonna have to take the L on that one. At least we got a sick lock pick for opening chests. Okay so Anyway, let's see if we can get ourselves out of this little situation over here. And now I'm going to refer to this guide. As you can see, I am currently on the Feral Archives website. On the Feral Archives, there's a lot of helpful information about this game. So I'll put the link to this in the description of this video. But one of the most helpful pages on here at the moment is a 
guide as to where we can obtain all of these sketches from. We're not actually going to be going for the blood stain sketch right now because it's apparently unavailable, which is very sad news for me, but let's continue on. So I believe that I already have the broom sketch. Because of that, we're going to be skipping this for now and going with the dark skull instead. I believe that it should be pretty easy to find, but then again, maybe not because I supposedly haven't found it yet and I have been through this expanse more times than I can count. So we'll see. This is going to be an interesting challenge. And okay, it looks like we're all set, so let's go ahead and spawn right into the good old expanse. Okay, so we're here, but I don't know if we're in the right place. Now that I'm actually looking at this reference photo, it's really hard to tell where on the map this is because they don't actually show you this whole map view. All you can see is the little corner preview, so that's interesting. I might actually distract myself by trying to open this chest real quick, but now you can see the complication of earning items on Feral and unlocking chests. It's actually harder to do this than it looks, and you need to get a certain number of lock picks and if you don't successfully make it through the gap your lock pick will break and you have to go find more so that's a pain but fortunately that was an easy one to unlock so we're good so now i'm gonna attempt to orient myself according to where the player on this map is so i'm thinking they're located about here so that might mean it's easier to spawn at this spawn point so let's give that a try i'm gonna go back to the map and spawn here instead by the dock and let's look up here again all right so now we're here and we need to walk all the way on this black path and then once we get about here we're gonna go into this little nook this might seem easy but yeah I just have a bit of difficulty following paths so let's see ah there's the path would have been smart if I went on there from the start anyways we're running and running and running it does take a little while to get around in here it's just a little fun fact about the expanse we might be getting closer let's see ah we're right about there we just have to turn right into here I think oh lock pick getting distracted for a second here folks I need this in my life though and wow we've got some weird flying things these kind of freak me out I don't know what it is they're just very odd animals but they're kind of a mood though okay so i think this is the area that we turn into aha this is definitely the place because it is located on this giant mushroom but oh nope this is it oof anyways i am actually just so happy that this turned out to be right i needed this dark skull in my life dark skull sick sick indeed i feel so accomplished now that we've got this all right let's go ahead and close that out oh it still appears there that's interesting i would have expected it to be gone anyways <laughs> now let's see what the next sketch on our agenda is I guess we need to go for the golden leaf. I don't think I have that. Let me double check. Nope, I do not have the golden leaf. So now I'm going to be sending this over to my phone and hoping for the best. So now we're officially back in full screen mode, ready to run with this. And now I have the fun challenge of figuring out what location this is in. So it looks like we have a bent sort of path. I want to say it's here, but it's not. Maybe here? I'm struggling with this, folks. Aha, this is where it is for sure. So we're going to have to spawn at this upper spawn point. Let's click on the experience go to the upper spawn point and we have to follow this path down here it's actually very close so let's just see how close exactly it is so we have to go into here and then straight over almost near this lake and then it's going to be on a wall so that's fun let's go down here just a little bit farther and then we take a turn somewhat into here but it's against a wall so where is it oh no it's against a tree this seems about right no that's not right okay a little bit far away from this location. I'm just gonna get this little dude to distract myself. Let's see. I need to go more this way. No, this way. But this doesn't really look quite like the area of the picture. Maybe here. Aha, there it is. It's been spotted, folks. Look at this. The gold leaf. Wow, I feel so accomplished. All right, let's go ahead and collect that. Come on, it's a pretty leaf. Sometimes you just gotta appreciate the pretty leaves in life. Yes, I agree. Man, I'm feeling accomplished. All right close out of that and now let's see what else we've got to check off on this list there lies the green egg rest in peace fortunately i do not have this the menacing spike i do believe that i have though let me just double check and yep it appears as though i have it and i believe i have the rose too and apparently that's it what well, folks, that's just some fun stuff. I guess I'm not as behind as I thought I was. I mean, technically, I did find the green egg, but I'm just not able to click it. Also, wow, I just realized this whole time there's an actual guide in the full map that I just didn't click on. Now I'm giving myself major props for managing to find this using just this zoomed out map. But wow, my life would have been a lot easier if I clicked on the slideshow. Oh, that's really upsetting now. Anyways, let's get back into the full screen of the expansion. 
romance and just admire our new sketches. So I guess that we are missing two total sketches, the blood stain and the green egg. I am going to be reporting this glitch immediately to the feral beta developers about the green egg because I would really like to be able to earn this green egg, honestly. The blood stain though, that's another conundrum because apparently the blood stain could only be won from this quest that was literally in the expanse for like two days, all right? I took maybe a three day break from feral beta and I had already missed a quest and an important sketch. So I'm very upset about this, but I'm sure it'll be back eventually. Now, here's the interesting question. I'm just wondering how many combinations of sketches there are in this lot even though I'm missing two, there's still probably thousands of combinations that could all lead to enigmas. And I'm just like, dang, how's it even possible to try all of this? Okay guys, so actually Future Me decided to do the math out for how many enigma combinations we have in Feral Beta as of this moment. So let's head on over to our sketchbook. We have 10 total inspirations, which I'll put up on the screen right now to account for the ones that I'm missing. And we can make two possible assumptions about the condition of an Enigma formula. One is that the combination of items is not significant. For example, broom first, then leave, then spike yields no difference from spike, then leave, then broom. So if the order of the combination is insignificant, then there will be a far smaller number of possible combinations than if they are significant. Because if they are significant, then a leaf, then a spike, then a broom could yield a different item than a leaf, then the broom, then the spike, if that makes sense. So yeah, I actually managed to find an online calculator for this. So let's go ahead and check that out because I'm lazy and don't feel like doing the math out myself. So as as of right now, we have 10 elements to choose from, 10 inspirations, and the total number that we can put together in our recipe is three. Of course, we can't repeat inspirations because there's no option allowing for that. I mean, we can try, but it's not allowing us to use the same inspiration more than once. So there is no repetition allowed. Now, if the order is not important, then we have 120 possible combinations so far. However, if the order is important, meaning we have different results depending on the order of these three items, so yeah, that could have a different result than the other one. If this is the case, then when we calculate it, we have 720 different possible combinations. Now, my original estimation was way off. Since there's only three elements to choose from, that widely reduces the number of total possible variations. So, even even if the order is important, which currently I'm not sure about. We only have 720 variations, so it actually is feasible that players could have all of these combinations tested. But when we get to the point where there might be a hundred different inspirations in the game, well, then let's see. 970,200. <laughs> of course, that's assuming the order is important, but even if it's not, we still have 161,700. And when players start going through and trying these different combinations, more often than not, there's probably going to be some overlap in the combinations they're trying. So there is a probability that there might be some combinations that players will just never get until years into the game. So yeah, I thought that that was a really interesting experiment. Or maybe I'm just a nerd. But I really wanted to share that page with you guys because I think it's very helpful, especially if you're beta testing Feral, because you want to be able to have these sketches so that you can come up with possible Enigma combinations. There's probably a lot that haven't been discovered, so finding these sketches is absolutely essential. And of course, there's a lot of other cool things to find in the Expanse as well. Mostly resources, but they change every so often, so it's really fun to go out there and collect them. But yeah, I kind of wanted to give you guys a taste of what the Expanse was like, minus the quest, because I haven't actually done a quest video yet. But who knows, maybe that'll be my next one. Anyways, folks, I hope you enjoyed this casual little feral gameplay video, or feral beta gameplay video, I guess. Let me know what other kinds of feral videos you guys would like to see in the comments below, because I am really here to answer your questions and be your resource as viewers. And if you'd like more information about beta testing, I'm going to do another comprehensive video on that too, so stay tuned. Anyways, folks, as always, thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!